Welcome new and old friends, it's me Sarah and we're happy to have you in our kitchen today. Since summer's in full swing and all the kids are home from school, we thought we'd kick things off with a simple and easy quesadilla. Alright, so somebody's obviously hungry, so let's start cooking something made with love. Here's what you're going to need. Shredded cheese. Grilled chicken. Tortillas. And if you want, you can add chopped onion and bell pepper. You'll also need some butter or cooking spray. So the first thing you're going to do is turn on your pan to medium high heat. You want to get your pan nice and hot so that it'll cook your tortilla and make a nice crisp finish. I got this pan at Business Costco and it was a really good high quality uh, Tramatina pan and we highly recommend it. And no, we're not a spokesperson for Costco, we just like it. Okay, so once you can feel your pan starting to get a little bit hot, you're gonna put either a little bit of olive oil or a little bit of butter in there. And we're gonna cook our onion and bell pepper. Oh, my. got a little bit left in there. The reason you cook it before is because if you don't, it will not be cooked when you go to eat it. So if that's your thing, by all means. Okay, so after about three or four minutes, it'll start to look like that, and that's good enough. You just need them soft and lightly cooked. If you want well done veggies, you can keep cooking them for a little bit more. Some people like really well done vegetables, super soft and tender. Typically when you have a quesadilla, they're just lightly cooked. Okay, and when that's done, you're gonna just put it back in your bowl that you had earlier. So after you finish cooking your onion, you're going to transfer it into the bowl and then you're going to put the pan back on the stove and let it heat up again. And then you're going to cut a little piece of butter and put it in the pan, just a little bit. The butter is going to help add flavor to your quesadilla and it's also going to help keep it from sticking to the pan. Butter. Ah, just like that. See, it's gonna start sizzling, but not burning. That's how you know you have the temperature right. Then you're gonna add your tortilla and let it warm up a little bit. I like to do it and flip it so that some of the butter's on the inside and the oils will help melt the cheese. Cover it with cheese, like that. We're gonna add a couple pieces of chicken. Since I'm using these small tortillas, not that much is gonna fit in here, so. If you want a big quesadilla, buy a bigger tortilla. Then we're gonna add a little bit of onion. 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 I'm gonna put a little more cheese on top. And I'm gonna fold that over. And then we're going to give it a flip. And these are actually really easy to make. All right, so after a couple of minutes, that's going to be done. And you're just going to cut it in half and serve it up. All right, so as you can see, making a chicken quesadilla is a delicious way to fill your belly. And I'm going to give this one chicken to Lolo. Yeah. <laughs> you want to try it? Yes. All right, let's let us know what you think. Mm. <laughs> Does it hit the spot? Oh my gosh, this is really good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, that's it for Cooking with Friends. We hope to see you next time. 
be sure to like and subscribe and ring the bell. Get notifications every time we post a video. For more cooking and drink videos, like our page. Chicken quesadilla, chicken quesadilla, chicken quesadilla. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs>